the real, real cold December weather. No, we haven't. So you know what that means. It's going to yeah. happen. I mean, Wait it's, that's right. January. <laughs> it's yeah. January is right around the corner. It's just delayed. <laughs> January is right around the corner. Um, so let's take a look at our temperature now, remind you of what's normal, and then talk about what we're expecting here at the end of the week. It's 50 degrees right now, mostly cloudy. We've had showers on and off tonight. Your temperatures tonight will be in the upper 40s, and it's going to take some time before we actually drop those temperatures into the mid 40s. But 46 at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, 46 is normally our daytime high temperature in Portland this time of year. So, above normal, not only during the day, but also overnight as well. Radar showing us we have some pockets of heavier showers just out here out towards McMinnville and then as you cross over I-5 you're dry until we get into the foothills out towards Sandy and Mount Hood. That's where the wet weather continues on. A winter weather advisory is in effect for the Cascades, Oregon and Washington until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So not only over our mountain passes could we see some snow accumulations, but also above that point for our ski resorts, we could be talking about close to a foot of snow in some locations. Uh, how about government camp? On the low end, we might see a couple inches. On the high end, possibly closer to five or six. Uh, Santiam Pass, Willamette Pass, anywhere from one to three, upwards of four to five inches. Not expecting anything down towards Siskiyou Summit, though. Here's your ski report so far, giving us a base of uh, almost 60 inches there at Timberline, Mount Hood Meadows, 53 inches. And the big time accumulations for Mount Hood Meadows, for instance, hasn't necessarily been at the base at that 5,300 foot mark. But up above mid mountain, that's where they've been getting hammered with snow and they continue to see more of that and will through tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. But where will that freezing mark be? We expect it to be just above our mountain passes until we roll into really early tomorrow morning. That's when our temperatures will drop with the passage of that cold front. And then we get through the next uh, day and a half and we're going to see that freezing level again just below 4000 feet and look at how it skyrockets all of a sudden as soon as we get to Saturday and Sunday above 6000 feet. This could be problematic with the amount of rain that we're expecting through tomorrow only about a tenth of an inch, but let's add in Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now we could be looking at close to two inches of rain in the valley for the foothills closer to three inches. What that means is we're going to see some of that rain falling on top of the new snow that we just got. Here's your seven day forecast. So temperature wise Saturday and Sunday for us in the valley, we expect to be in the mid 50s with rain, the heaviest showers Saturday and Sunday. But there is a bright spot by next Wednesday. We could go through an entire day without rain. And I feel like you're watching out for us when you always look for that bright spot, Natasha. I, yes. <laughs> Thank you.